I knew that there would be music and I knew that it was going to be a show that had rolling scene changes as opposed to blackouts and intervals and things like that. I just wanted it all to roll forward in one, one piece. Um, so I knew I needed music to do that. So all that music is saying is keep watching. And that's really important just to keep us gripped and moving along. It's got to feel, like to me, there's music that just really means a lot because it's just got the right feeling. I, I mean, how can you explain that? It just feels to me like whatever I am, if I'm like a, a spirit or a soul or a little kind of pilot in a little body driving this thing that is me around, and I don't know what that is, and none of us do, you know, what is our essential consciousness? This, you know, music is a great conduit into that very remote sort of feeling that we all have. And actually, the funny thing is that though we're all essentially alienated from each other, music, I suppose all art, but music is one of those things that really brings us all together. I always knew that they were going to dance. I mean, it's one of those points in the play probably where it almost steps out of naturalism into something else. You know, it breaks the fort wall more and kind of just puts us all in the same space and it's just kind of fun like that, you know, and just lifts us into another place. But then the next thing you've got to do then, as with all plays, is to abruptly change the tone. So it's very effective dramatically, actually, you know, so it's, a, it's a kind of ruthless in that way because we really lift the play and then we sort of clamp it down and then from that point on the play has to kind of climb its way back into the light again. The last track that we use in the play is um, from a singer called Father John Misty who was the drummer from the Fleet Foxes and he's left the Fleet Foxes to do his own solo career and I heard that song called Fun Times in Babylon one morning at about five o'clock in the morning I was listening to the radio and I just heard the song and I just thought I just knew that that was the song I needed for the end of the show and can never imagine it again, you know, w without it. So um, I just really was so lucky, so lucky to have heard that song. It just was kind of meant to be. So, yeah, you know, music is, um, I mean, I think, I think without it, I don't know what this play would be like. That's the funny thing, you know, I think it's really, really, really important and uh, just so lucky to be able to share it with people. Mm -hmm.